I'm Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Libertalia. Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. So very excited about this. this love Stonemeyer Games and have heard great things about this. Love the artwork. So let's go ahead and see what it contains. Okay, so here we go. Very excited. Love that it has a solo mode. Love that it's pretty much a redone version. Like it's not a reprint, it's completely redone. So yeah, very excited. Okay. So then in true Stonemaier faction, we have very nice feeling rule books. Okay. And then some more notes. Nice. And then of course the solo mode has its own rule book, which is always nice. So if you're playing by yourself, you don't need all the other rules. You can just play with this. Okay. And then we have the dials and the midshipmen, which these are all punching out very nicely, of course, very easily. And then we have all the different uh, ways that it can go. So there's a friendly side and an unfriendly side for all of these. So very nice there. And some of these are just punching out already. And then we have the player board, which, okay. Which I think this is the friendly side. It comes Voyages one through three, voyages two through three, and voyages three. So it's very nice so you can easily see how many days you have on each voyage, which is very nice. Nice little reference right there. And then we have the stormy side, which is the meaner side. That is very cool for that as well. Okay. And then we have the plastic inserts. Make sure everything stays in its place. And something that I really love that they did is these are uh, biodegradable bags. Feel really nice too. These are loot tokens. So that's really cool. And here we have the treasure chest where we'll be able to put all of the money in it. And if you get the metal coins, they'll fit in here as well. And then we have the nice big canvas bag that all the loot tokens will go in. And it feels very nice. You can easily get all the way down. We have all the reputation tokens for all the players. And the white ones bagged separately for some reason. Okay. And then these are uh, recyclable bags too, which is very nice. And these are the ones that you'll use for these treasure chests that will mark your points throughout the game, which will be really nice. That'll be cool looking. Okay. And the other side of them, we have all the cards, yay. Okay. And they feel very nice linen finish for all of these. Looks like it's even different ship designs for the different colors, which that is really cool. That is neat. And there's 40 cards for each one. So we also don't want to shuffle all of these because only one player needs to shuffle, which makes me very excited for remote play. This seems like it'd be a really easy one to play. Even, I think all sides would need a copy though. Be simply because there's gonna be all of these cards with these texts. So people will definitely wanna be able to see what's going on. And actually, Turn them around. This is cool. Okay, ow. 
yeah, plastic hanging on. Okay, there's some red. Okay, so we have all of the 40, so we'll go ahead and, here's the back of the white shit. That's pretty cool. So we'll just quickly, if you want to pause and read any of them, feel free. I'm just going to go through really fast so that way you can see all the different artwork. You can see what each one of them does. But this artwork is phenomenal. I love this. I love the anim anathomorphic, anamorphic animals that have human-like features and acts. So, oh, that's kind of a creepy one. Okay. Ooh, very excited. Ooh, I like that cook. Watchman looks very intense. Armor. Ooh, she's cute. Okay. Oh, okay. The Arista cat, you can't really see. Let's see if I can get her over here. So pretty artwork. Yeah, I love that dress. Ooh, the wind nymph. Okay, you can't see the pink on her either. So, yeah. There she is. Very pretty. Okay, and that's all 40 of them. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so now we have more cards. And I am, why am I having so much trouble with this one? I didn't have any trouble with any of the others. Okay, it's over here. Okay. So then we have a couple more purples. And here is our green, which will make Brixie so happy because he loves green. Okay. And there's blue. Okay. So there is that. And let's see. Yep, it's over here again. I do love how easy these are to open. Just make sure you're opening them up on the right side. Okay, and then we have the player aid. It's very nice. And then, oh, these are for solo. Okay. So they could either be the pilferers or they have the modified powers. Which, I wonder where solo's planning on being. We'll put solo in there for now. And then we have the rest of the black cards. Okay. But that is everything that you get in Libertalia. So very excited for this one. I love that each of the ships not only are a different color, but they're a different design. So that's just that little bit of an extra touch. And I wonder, are these the same? Yeah, they look the same as far as the artwork for all of them, which that is good. So it's like, I wondered if those would be the same or different. I, I love that aristocrat. She is pretty. Um, but yeah, so definitely wanting to play this. So hopefully I can play it uh, soon. I know I will be going to a meetup in a local area soon and it has a solo. So I'll be able to play it by myself and hopefully Brixie and Kitty can have a chance to play it with me too. Uh, but I'll have to send them a set of their colors or something so that way they could play. But until next time, just remember to have fun, be present, and be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let a friend or family member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much and have a great day.